Hello everyone, I'm Mrs Berry and I'm Mrs Harmon and we are assistant heads for early years. Uh, firstly we'd like to thank you for choosing the Summerhill Primary Academy for you to start your child's school career and we'd like to welcome you to our early years unit. We're going to introduce you to the staff who work in early years and then we're going to talk you through some of the things you need to know for September. I'm Mrs Dolman and I'm the nursery teacher at Summerhill Primary Academy School. I'm really looking forward to seeing you soon. But in the meantime, stay safe, take care and have lots of fun. Bye! Hi everyone, my name is Miss Morton and I'm going to be your new teacher September. I can't wait to meet you all and I hope you all have a lovely summer. I'll see you all soon! So those are the nursery teachers that you'll have in September. You'll receive a letter soon to tell you which class you're going to be in. The other people you'll meet at the start of the year will be Miss Neil, Miss Gunn, Mrs Alcock, Miss Perks, Mrs Forbes, Mrs Staines and Miss Deakin. I'm going to talk now a little bit about the Early Years curriculum. There are four key themes running through the Early Years Foundation stage. Firstly is that we see the unique child. Each child is treated as an individual and we work hard to celebrate their personal strengths and focus on what they need to do next. The next fundamental area is positive relationships. Here at Summerhill we really value the importance of fostering effective relationships, whether that be children with children, children with teachers, parents with children or teachers with parents. We feel that it's vital to develop positive, effective relationships with parents in order to best support our children and we encourage your input in their learning. We want there to be lots of communication between home and school and feel that this really benefits the children. The third theme is regarding enabling environments. As you'll see during your forthcoming visits, we create a stimulating learning environment for the children both inside and out, treating the outdoor space and forest areas as an extension of the classroom. We fully appreciate that some children prefer to learn outside. We also try to involve the wider community where possible, forging links with local services and having visitors in school. The fourth area revolves around learning and development. We encourage active learning through play and exploration and try to develop children's creativity and problem solving skills. There are seven discrete areas of learning in the early years. The prime areas are personal, social and emotional development, communication and language, and physical development. The specific areas are literacy, mathematics, expressive arts and design, and understanding the world. We deliver a topic-based curriculum which encompasses all subject areas. The overviews for these can be found on the school website in the early years section under the heading curriculum. Through the whole curriculum, we encourage children to be active learners through play and exploration whilst developing their critical thinking and creativity. There are a number of ways we record the children's learning and progress. Observations and work go into books that can be viewed at parents' evening. The EYFS tracker is used for assessment purposes and the iConnect system is used for children doing longer sessions to record practical information such as naps and meals. We're lucky at Summerhill to have a qualified forest school coordinator and two designated forest school areas which are used regularly to support learning and development. There are many benefits to learning outdoors. Forest school activities develop self-esteem, independence, responsibility, problem solving and risk taking. It also supports children's social, emotional and physical development. The children have a planned forest school activity every week which links to the week's learning. You will be informed which day once your child starts school. We go into the forest in all areas as long as it's deemed to be safe, so we ask that you provide appropriate clothing, for example, wellies and a waterproof coat. But please don't buy new or send expensive things as they're very likely to get muddy. Here are some photos of our older children enjoying the forest. Can we please ask that you notify the office if someone new is picking up your child at the end of the day? Their safety is paramount and we will not dismiss the children to anyone we're not expecting. You will all now have the relevant paperwork and hopefully have returned it to the school office. Can we please stress the importance of informing school if anything changes, for example, medical information, email addresses or mobile phone numbers. 
it is vital that we have a number of up-to-date phone numbers in case of emergency. We keep regular contact with parents through Parent Mail. This app can be accessed via your computer, laptop or mobile phone. It will keep you up to date with the school calendar and events and also can be used to give permission for trips etc. You will receive a registration message via email or text to get you started. Children are expected to wear a school uniform. This consists of a royal blue sweatshirt or cardigan, pale blue polo shirt and blue or black trousers or skirt. The girls can also wear a blue check dress in the summer. You can buy these from the supermarket or you can buy them with the school logo on. These can be ordered from Brad Sport or MyClothing.com. Children in nursery do not need a PE kit. The most important thing with all clothing is please label everything. Coats, shoes, jumpers, trousers. Children take off their jumpers and cardigans when it's warm and can often get them mixed up with others. But if they have their name written inside, even if it's just with a biro, 99% of the time they do end up back with the correct things. Our governing body has adopted a uniform and appearance policy for all its pupils. Children are expected to adhere to the policy and we ask parents to work with us to follow it. This includes the dress code, as I've previously discussed, sensible footwear, we don't allow trainers, sandals or boots. No extravagant hairstyles, for example, Mohican, spiky, extensions, tram lines, parting lines, hair that's shaved to the skin, tails, gelled hair, hair that's long on one side and short on the other. We only allow simple hair accessories, such as plain blue or black bobbles or headbands. We don't allow scarves or beads. We don't allow the children to wear jewellery for health and safety reasons. We only allow a plain stud earring. Please see the policy for further guidance. Our school puts many things in place to promote good attendance. We aim for high attendance in line with the national average of 96%. Even though your child is not of compulsory school age, they are expected to attend every session unless they are ill. We support families where attendance is falling. We ask that you call into the school office if your child is absent and you may be asked to provide medical evidence if attendance is declining. Staff may also carry out a home visit if your child is absent from school. So unless your child is really ill, send them into school. If they do become ill when they're here, we will always ring you to collect them. As with all schools, we do not authorise holidays to be taken during term time. However, we do ask that if you do go on holiday during the term, you complete a holiday form so that we know why your child is absent. We are a healthy school and we promote healthy lifestyles. The children are allowed to drink water throughout the day and they will be provided with a free water bottle when they start. They are one pound if they need replacing. We ask that only water is in the bottles. We do not allow juice or flavoured water. The children are provided with a free piece of fruit to eat at snack time and they are also provided with free milk. Children in yellow nursery who are staying for longer sessions are also provided with meals. Extra charges apply for these. I'm just going to talk about a few things that you can do at home which will support your child's transition into nursery. Encourage them to get dressed and undressed by themselves. They may want to take their jumpers off or need to change from their wellies into their shoes, so support them to be able to do this independently. Also, show them how to put their coats on and take them off as they do this throughout the day. Read lots of stories to them. Research shows that reading stories to children can have a big impact on their speech and language development and their literacy skills. Try to read stories at bedtime and take children to visit the library. 
Encourage your child to use the toilet by themselves. Children are expected to be toilet trained in nursery and be able to use the toilet independently. So work on this over the summer if your child isn't doing this already. Children in nursery are expected to tidy up at the end of the session. So you can help with this by getting them to tidy away their own toys at home. There is an activity sheet for parents on our website in the new intake tab with some ideas of things to do at home to support transition. In nursery, the children will be allocated a colour class. Blue class is for children who are doing 15 hours over a set three hours a day, five days a week. You will be allocated either a morning or afternoon session. Yellow class is for children who do flexible hours, either 15 or 30 hours, but they may not be doing every day. As you will be aware, we've had to change our induction programme this year. We usually carry out home visits for children who are new to Summerhill, but as we are unable to do this, we are inviting parents and children to a one-to-one -one session with their new teacher so that you can meet them and see the classroom environment. We will send out dates for this shortly. We will also inform you about your start dates as soon as we receive further guidance from the government and local authority. There will be a staggered start for nursery children over a few weeks to help them settle. Blue class who do a three hour daily session access the classroom by going through the gate at the side of school and enter through the rear playground. The session times are 8.40 to 11.40 and 12.20 to 3.20. Sessions do start punctually, so please be on time. If you are more than 20 minutes late, unfortunately, your child will not be able to attend that session. Yellow class access their classroom through the side door before the gate. There will be staff around in the playgrounds to direct you when you start. If you do have any questions, no matter how big or small, please do not hesitate to email at intakeadmin at summerpark.co.uk and we will answer them for you. We look forward to welcoming you and your child in the new term.